Set up ExpressVPN on Synology. This tutorial guide will walk you through the steps to set up a VPN on your Synology using PPTP. For this setup, ExpressVPN highly recommends turning off IPv6. Contents, find your ExpressVPN account credentials. Turn off IPv6. Create a VPN profile. Set up your VPN profile. Connect to the VPN server. Disconnect from the VPN server. 1. Find your ExpressVPN account credentials. In order to use ExpressVPN on Synology, you will need to set up a new VPN profile. To set up a VPN profile, you will need a server address, your account credentials, and the IPsec pre-shared key. This section of the tutorial will show you how to find all of this information. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN. Click the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your ExpressVPN account. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Set up ExpressVPN on the Active Subscriptions page. Click on Manual Config on the left side of the screen and then select PPTP and L2TP IPsec on the right. This will show you your username, password, and a list of server addresses around the world. Please note this information as you will need it to set up your VPN profile. 2. Turn off IPv6. Before you enable VPN on your Synology, ExpressVPN highly recommends that you turn off IPv6 to prevent IPv6 traffic from leaking outside of the VPN tunnel. To turn off IPv6, go to Control Panel Network Network Interface. Click the Network Interface tab, then click the LAN menu to expand it. Click Edit. In the Edit menu, click the IPv6 tab. For IPv6 setup, select Off. Click OK. 3. Create a new VPN profile. To add a new VPN profile, we need to return to the Network Interface settings. Go to Control Panel Network Network Interface. Select Create Create VPN Profile. 4. Set up your VPN profile. To create a VPN profile, you will need your server address, username and password, and IPsec pre-shared key from earlier. On the VPN connection method screen, select PPTP and click Next. On the general settings screen, enter a profile name, server address, username, and password, then click Next. On the advanced settings screen, select the following, Authentication, MS Chap V2. Encryption, Maximum MPPE, 128-bit. Check the box for Use Default Gateway on Remote Network. Check the box for Reconnect when the VPN connection is lost. Click Apply. 5. Connect to the VPN server. You will now see your new VPN profile in the network interface window. Click on your new VPN profile, then click Connect. 6. Disconnect from the VPN server. To disconnect from the VPN server, go to Control Panel Network Network Interface. Click the VPN profile, then click Disconnect.